It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Dallas Cowboys next on Madden Football. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he's looking to bounce back after an injury-riddled season a year ago. Herbert, obviously one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, but that doesn't do you any good when you're standing on the sidelines wearing a baseball cap. If this team's ever going to reach their full potential, they've got to find a way to keep him upright. And with his new head coach, Jim Harbaugh, in the fold, they'll do exactly that. They'll have a chance to win a lot of games with Justin Herbert on the field. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to thank this offensive line. They're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Herbert off of play action. A quick throw there is incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Now it's Herbert. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? A shotgun snap for Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and nine. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. 
Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there, and I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Gus Edwards taking it in from seven yards away. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finished as a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. CD Lamb, touchdown, Cowboys. CD Lamb, 70 yards. And the Cowboys are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Aubrey good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. He 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showed off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Parsons is clearly one of the best defenders in the NFL and totaled at least 13 sacks in each of his first three years in the league and continues to wreak havoc as we just saw there. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. A give for Edwards running right. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That second down play nets a minus four. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter... Here in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. So five yards here. Five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And Ezekiel had a Cowboys first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. And he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. 
And it makes it third down and two yards to go. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes it, the fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings. For some reason, it builds up. For this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200 plus right now. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We often give credit to the O-line there, two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Now Elliott. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. Prescott. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got him down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Herbert. And he will go 
down. The Cowboys sack. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. So after the sack here, second and 14. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Fielded at about the 28. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Dak Prescott on the offense heading back onto the field. And the numbers for the last drive. And he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them. And the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. Prescott able to get down there at the end on the slide, and he has the first as well. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. A first down carry by Elliott. Down to about the 37. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 37, they work on second and six. Looking to throw. Prescott. Able to hit his target land. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 27-yard line. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. To throw is Prescott. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real option. And now look at this. Big game for the fumble. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Aubrey now for the point after. Oh, 
It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So that drive spanned five plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 26. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Second and 10. Herbert running left off the option. And he powers his way up past the 30. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Now that's what he can do when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop it. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. The mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there. And not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged. And it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tagged as one of the best in the league the prior season. Aubrey now for the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Charger defensive unit making their way back out there. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Right side, he has Johnston. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. That is taken in by Hurst. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A gain of 32 that time. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows, and this one is no different. And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there, that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Again, Herbert. A swing pass here to Edwards. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here now, second and four. Herbert setting up the screen here to Edwards. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Third down and one. Here's Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Back to throw here, Herbert. This caught left side by the tight end, Parham. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? To the air again, Herbert. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now Herbert, third and goal. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. From six yards away. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. 
And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Now Prescott. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally <laughs> forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Here's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is caught inside the five. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. On play action, Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I absolutely love that play call there. They just came off of a big play. They've got momentum in their direction, and they come back and take the shot at the end zone just unable to complete it by love their aggressiveness. And you feel like the defense, a sigh of relief, could have been back-to-back -back really big plays. Throwing. Prescott to the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. From the three-yard line once more. Now here's third and goal. Elliott. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And this one is right through. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And this is dropped. 
Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. It was a veteran quarterback, Dak Prescott, who had it working in the first half. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Prescott from the gun. <laughs> to the sideline and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Prescott. <laughs> A dump off to Elliott. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Returnable here for Davis. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 27. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Here's Edwards again on second down, and he'll take this up to the 30, a gain of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Herbert now. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Chauncey Golston, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. I think we've seen this before. 
someone's down three scores, that situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. From the 46, here's second and a yard. Dak going to hand it to Elliott on the option. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Good push up front in that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Prescott. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Prescott now. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And the Cowboys are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Prescott to throw it. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it. Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a six-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Yeah. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Chargers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now it's Herbert. That's completed right side to Palmer. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 65 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Here's Herbert. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And this play comes to a halt at the 33, and obviously that's well short of the first down. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And defensively, they had an extra defensive back on the field, their nickel package, and it made a difference. All the receivers were blanketed, so he tried to run for it, but he came up just a bit short. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right. right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Yeah. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30.
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Final minute now of the third quarter. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And picked up by the Chargers. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, number one on the list of things not to do when you're up three scores in the third, that right there, give the football away. I love when you speak like that. You know how doctors talk about taking the Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm? You just did the football Craddock one right there. Don't give the ball away when you have a lead that you can lock this game down with. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Play action now, Prescott. That is caught, Schoonmaker. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A very solid gain of 27. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. To the air again, Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And that's going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he's got it. Touchdown. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Aubrey now for the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from C.D. Lamb. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Oh. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. L.A. readies for its next possession. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, C.D., but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing, and partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Here's Herbert. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the gun, Herbert. They'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Chargers on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. Here it's third and three. Well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Thought they might throw the football with a little chunk that they had remaining on fourth down, but they ran it, they got it. And the reason they were able to get it done, he ran that play with conviction, didn't he? Understood he would get a little bit of help from his friends up front, but it was really on him to go ahead and make the power move and get it done, and that he did. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Back to throw here, Herbert. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Herbert. Throw left side is hauled in by Palmer. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Josh Palmer, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. And he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game.
So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Joey Bosa in on the stop. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Prescott off play action. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Herbert now. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. 
Again, Herbert. Right side, he has Johnston. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Herbert throwing again. His throw complete right side to the tight end Parham. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's playing pretty well and trying to keep him in it. Yeah, they might need a little more from him here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they continue to call his number. Right now, he needs his defense to step up and give him a chance. Herbert and the Chargers stay in put. They'll line up and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cowboys are able to recover. And he takes it all the way, but there is a flag down, so hold the celebration. This one's coming back. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. We got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now Dak on the option left. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The Cowboys on their way to victory as they take a knee. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.